Casey or BJ back at it again. So today I'm gonna be doing a low taper on long curly hair. So Rahelio had hit me up, said he just got the pin two days ago. He needs to switch it all the way up. So like like you see, the first technique I'm gonna do clip over comb, and then I'm gonna do mainly sheer over comb throughout the haircut. So right now you see I'm using my clipper to kind of do the first guideline to see where I'm gonna be at with it. So now I'm doing sheer over comb. I'm just pulling the hair, matching the same length, chopping everything else off. Piece by piece, just staying consistent as you see. I did damp the hair just to make sure that the texture and everything would be smooth. And then I'm just gonna go throughout the scalp to make sure that I'm matching with that same length I last cut with. Yes, sir. As you see, I'm taking my time with it. I just had to speed up the video. But definitely check out the end result. So, yeah, my boy had went through some stuff, but it's all good in the hood. He's back out. He learned a lot, you know, so it is what it is. But y'all check out this cut, man. Look at Sydney. Look how consistent, how I'm flowing with it. Just taking my time. Of course, I learned this in school. One of my favorite hairstyles to do, especially with like the long straight hair. So as you see, we chopping it a little bit, like I would say longer than half. And then we're gonna go a little bit lower. So as you see, just trust the process. You see how I'm combing the hair. I'm matching with everything else. Keeping the other length right there. Make everything a smooth transition. Y'all stay tuned, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at bigceo.bj or bjs.cuts with two Zs for more content. A lot of people have been asking about the hoodies. They will be dropping soon. I'll be taking pre-orders within a week or so. I'm just taking my time with everything. I don't want products sitting, so y'all stay tuned. Let me know what's going on. What y'all want. I know people want the shirts and the hoodies, the top and bottom sets, but they're definitely coming in. So as you see, I'm flowing with all his hair. I'm making sure everything is even, piece by piece. So right there, I'm just blowing the hair out, the extra hair that I can't see. We're just trying to do a length check real quick with him. I'm still gonna make sure I balance everything else out, so. Like I said, we're gonna go a little bit lower. I was just trying to make sure I'm staying consistent with it. Redamp the hair to make sure it's gonna be smooth with the comb. As you see, you can wet the hair as many times as you need to. Just make sure that you comb it out as you go. And you do not want the hair to be dry so it won't snag while you're using the shears. It's always easier when you're having wet hair with the shears, as you see. You see how I'm gripping the hair with my index finger and my middle finger. And then I'm placing my comb right there on my thumb as I go. True technique, man. Watch how this end result happens. I'm also gonna be using my thinning shears to have a, a real smooth blend. Piece by piece, man, so. This cut, I think it took about 40 minutes to do, but I made sure I got them situated. We also cut the beard down, balanced that out, hit them with the razor, it's a natural cut. Very smooth transition. I was definitely excited to show you all this. And then I also have a shag cut coming up soon too, which was really dope. So y'all stay tuned, man. I also did another drop fade on straight hair as well. So I'm just giving y'all those different textures to show you how versatile I am in this industry. As you see, I'm still flowing consistent with the hair throughout everywhere. Just trying to balance it out. I'm not really worried about the bottom right now because I'm gonna be fading that, but I'm definitely gonna start balancing that out too. As you see, I'm getting closer towards the ear give them that type of shape. 
Just taking my time. Peace by peace. We just chopping up, catching back up. It's been a minute. They have my boy out there in Clayco. He said them folks did not play out there. So as you see, I'm just going around the ear, balancing everything out. Just basically preparing the hair for the taper. Right there, I'm, I'm kind of like debulking, so. Just prepping the canvas real quick. Just like that. Clipper of a comb setting, as you see. gonna be a very smooth transition. Kinda just flowing how I want to. See, I didn't fade the back yet or nothing. Taking the hair down. Don't worry, it's gonna be all the way even. Just watch. Had to go against the grain right there at the top. You're gonna see that's a one and a half bar right there. And then right here, I'm gonna start the taper. I'm gonna go fully closed in a minute. I'm just kinda, I'm going fully closed right now, but I'm just shaping everything. So I go lever fully closed and then I'm gonna go open and I'm gonna go halfway. As you see, it's slowly transitioning. See how I'm just playing with the lever, balancing it out. Use my trimmers, go ahead and start lining them up. Real smooth. See, I'm basically just shaping it out first, and then I'm start blending. I'm just fading with the guard. I didn't go lever close or open or nothing yet. I'm just kind of blending it, transitioning it. See, I'm using the thinning shears right there, kind of making that balance out. My main focus right now is that longer length at the top. I'm just blending it, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start fading them. I'm basically just prepping everything.
obviously I use the trimmer. Then I'm gonna go lever open. Halfway. Now I'm using my number one. Just flicking out as you see. Very smooth transition. See how I blended them out that time. I know you couldn't really see I was in the way. But the same way as the other side. Look at that smooth transition, man. You look like a whole nother person already. Then I'm gonna do his beard. I'm gonna hit him with the razor. Call it a day. Very smooth, man. Just gotta trust the process, man. Like, I know at first it was looking crazy, but look at that. Mind you, he got a job interview the next day. Just trying to get back on his feet, so. Mind you, he came late, and I usually hit him with a late fee. But, you know, I looked out for him, and he still looked out for me, too, so. Look at the razor action. Look at that. Smooth. I said, bro, I was not finna waste a glove. <laughs> Yes, sir. Look at that. Just going over everything one more time. Make sure to cut last. Very smooth transition. He really just wanted the shape right there in the back of his taper, just keep it low, so we made sure everything was smooth. <laughs> Whole new person, look at that. I went from this Yes, sir, this. stop playing, man. Like, yes, sir, y'all see the cut, man. Check out Instagram. Let's go.